Mr. Fucking Henderson. Online, there's just pics of his wife and kid, the occasional book review, and... Every Saturday morning, my students teach me just how out of touch I really am. Right, of course. On weekends, Mr. Henderson holds one-on-one -on -one sessions at a feminist bookstore for extra credit. It's still literally like how it feels to grow up as a woman. I'm glad you liked it. Next up should be Madame Bovary, if you want that. You don't need the credit. I'm, I'm, I'm like super into this era right now, so. Great. Uh, I'll give you a copy on Monday. Personally, didn't love Madame Bovary. Thought it was a little uh, tedious. If you're looking for 19th century literature about oppressed women, I recommend Frankenstein. Can I help you? <laughs> Mr. Anderson, it's me. Brooke Jensen. Brooke Jen. Wow, I didn't even recognize you. <laughs> That's what people keep telling me. Okay, this is uh, Brooke. She was a student of mine uh, six-ish years ago. Eight years ago. Actually. Right. Six-ish. Katie's a senior in my AP Lit class. Nice to meet you, bro. Um, I'll see you on Monday, Mr. H. I'll show you. Hey, Katie. It all gets better. I, I promise. I like high school. I'll miss it. But I just try to remember. It's not the end of the world. So, Brooke. M my um, extra credit session was on the short story, The Lottery. Do you remember? It's one of my favorite assignments. Did you enjoy it? I mean, no. It was terrifying, but uh, also amazing. I reread it constantly. Good. Well, I'm glad it was memorable. You and I got in an argument about what the story's really about. Do you remember? Oh, I have so many of these. They all tend to blend together after a while. Mm, uh, well, you said the story was an allegory for a society looking backwards to blind tradition, even when they'd outgrown it, which is like, yeah, duh. <laughs> but well, I probably said... But there was something personal going on, too. Uh, how they all treated Tessie, the lottery winner. The way the village told her to shut up. Even her husband was cruel to her. Even her kids didn't. That's the point. That tradition, the yearly ritual matters more than logic or love. But there was something about her. She sets it up, the writer, like there is something about Tessie, something different about her that makes her get chosen. It's random. That's the tragedy of it all. She doesn't deserve it. She just gets the short end of the very shitty stick. But everyone is so happy it's her. Everyone is so- Really nice catching up. Wait, um, sorry, that's not why I'm here. No, you're not here to stone me for something? Maybe. Depends on what you did to Hannah. I don't follow. Hannah Stone. She was in fifth period AP Lit with me senior year. Can't put a face with the name, but sure. Oh, of course you can. She's the one you've been having an affair with. What? I'm not suggesting you did anything illegal. She was over 18 and reciprocative, presumably. Although there was a huge power discrepancy between you two, but I don't know, maybe that's all love is anyway. What do you want from me? I just want to finish my extra credit session. Please, sit. I've got a lot of papers to grade today, unfortunately. Fine, I guess I'll just have to finish it with your wife, Sarah Henderson. I'm sure she'd love to hear all about Hannah. How do you know my wife's? I found her on LinkedIn. Her office is super close to me and she takes my insurance. I checked. Thank you so much. So generous of you. So, what? You're planning a ritual sacrifice? Hannah's been sharing a lot of emotional posts online about a breakup. Publicly? Jesus. Don't worry, she doesn't name names. Your generation, in person, everything just too much. So random. But online? Public 
eloquent manifestos. I got a Facebook at 14. My first boyfriend was someone I met on AIM. And? We've been sharing personal details over the ether since puberty. We can't stop now. We were doomed from the start. Compelling argument. Be modest. Is Hannah articulate? In person? Look, I'm not a bad guy, okay? I never said you were. Well, it's not a thing I do. This is, I don't do this with every female student that enjoys my class. Katie will be crushed. It's only Hannah, no one else. Why? Why her? I could ask you the same question. I'm not in love with her. From what I remember, you two ran in very different social groups. That was her doing. Is that what you want to know, Brooke? What? If there was a reason Hannah pulled your name out of the box? Because I don't have the answers for that. You'll have to ask her yourself. In person. Not via text, or email, or Skype, or whatever the hell else. Here's her address. Go. Knock on her door. And leave the weapons behind. Wait. Or you could let it go. But I get the feeling that's not going to happen. Hey, I'll tell your wife about wife Hannah and already knows about Hannah. Why do you think it finally ended? Well, I really can't say it was nice to Took a selfie of myself today Walking somewhere interesting Thought what could be more interesting Than a picture of me and interesting Put it on the internet But nobody has liked it yet I thought you wanted interesting What do you want? Tell me Why? Nobody likes me But I have so many friends I'll show you.